Hey guys, welcome to my food review channel. We've got another uh, review coming at you, and it's a little bit of a different product today. It is a couple of new flavors of Pop Tarts. Just a little bit of history. By the way, this is Dark the Moon EJ. Give everybody a big shout out. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit about Pop Tarts. They were invented basically in 1963. The Post Company had a little thing called Country Squares, which had kind of a fruity filling inside, a, a toaster pastry. Now, uh, Post's uh, number one rival, Kellogg's, said, holy cow, people are going to love these. We need to get on the bandwagon. So they came up with their own uh, called Pop Tarts. And wouldn't you know it, for whatever reason, people seem to like the Pop Tarts a little bit more. Uh, and so while well, Post discontinued theirs, Kellogg's continued on, sold millions and millions of Pop-Tarts, lots of different varieties, some seasonal ones, some ones that have been, you know, kind of in the roster for a long time. Uh, in 2001, as a symbol of goodwill, uh, the U.S. military dropped something like two or three million Pop-Tarts across the Afghanistan countryside. Obviously, though, the Afghan people had never experienced Pop-Tarts before. Just to show them that, hey, we mean you guys no ill will as we try to beat the hell out of Al-Qaeda. But this is what we're fighting for. Freedom and Pop-Tarts, as it were. Anyways, uh, Dark of the Moon, EJ. Let's uh, introduce everyone to the Pop-Tarts that we will be trying today for the very first time. Go ahead and show everyone what you've got and uh, talk about the packaging a little bit. S'mores, Frosted, it says Frosted right there, Pop-Tart, Pop-Tarts. And it's a uh, blue with a uh, orange stripe and uh, For those that aren't familiar with what a s'more is, maybe you could describe that. A s'more is a, it, for people who don't know, a s'more is a graham cracker, two, two graham crackers, with um, with a little bit of chocolate and um, and marshmallows inside, preferably um, fire burn, you know the campfire roasted marshmallows. Yeah, campfire roast. Sorry, and uh, yeah, those are basically what s'mores are. All right, they are delicious. And I see this one has got a uh, Scholastic book order offer as well. Where if you buy a box of pop tarts, you get a free book over fifty titles available. And there you go, including the world famous Captain Underpants. You a Captain Underpants fan? No. Nah. Are you an Austin Mahone fan? No. Nah. This one, uh, there you go. Peanut butter, gone nutty. So it's kind of, this one is not frosted. It's kind of got the toaster pastry with some sugar on there uh, with a peanut butter By the filling. way, we have not taken a bite out of it. Not taken a bite. It just kind of fell apart a little bit yeah. in the thing. By the way, here's what the uh, Graham Cracker slash s'mores one looks like. So you can tell the toaster pastry is made of a slightly different kind of composition there. So anyways, uh, peanut butter gone nutty. Uh, your chance to win tickets to Austin Mahone by buying your uh, box of these. And uh, there you go. They've also got some kind of Austin Mahone karaoke offer on the box as well. So... I don't even know who Austin Mahone is or what his deal is, but uh, that's who the guy is. Anyways, we're going to toast these up. We'll be back in one moment to give you our review. All right, 90 seconds in the toaster, and we are good to go. We've got the peanut butter on my right and the s'mores there as well. A little toasty there, but let me just tell you. The peanut butter one smells absolutely delicious. The s'mores one, can't really tell much of a smell there. Uh, Dark of the Moon EJ is joining me right now. Uh, which one would you like to try first? Peanut butter. Peanut butter? Okay. I'll break it right in the middle there for you. And there you go. Take a big bite. Be careful, it's really hot. And uh, let's share the experience. Go ahead. little nibble. Let's get a little bit of the peanut butter taste. Describe the experience. If you have a, um, if you've ever had like, um, me and my brother, we had like, we have a thing called like peanut butter crackers. We, it's like a peanut butter sandwich just without bread. It's crackers. And we put, and we 
nice peanut butter on it. And it kind of tastes like that. Okay, let's try it out here. I love peanut butter. Not allowed to have it very much, but. It's pretty good. Definitely some sweet peanut butter inside. Not a whole lot different from maybe like uh, peanut butter cups sort of thing. If you like peanut butter cups, I know you're going to love these. A little bit of a light sugary topping on top there. You can see it. That is a tasty Pop-Tart. I could probably eat the whole box. So good. There you go. So that's the peanut butter. Now everyone, let's try the s'mores. All right. Once again, oh, look at that. You can see the chocolate and the rose of peanut butter. Or sorry, not peanut butter, uh, marshmallow. Go ahead, Dark of the Moon EJ. And this one you can see there. There you go. You can definitely see it. Uh, the first sample of the new s'mores pop tarts. Mmm. Mm. The marshmallow definitely has a creaminess to it. The chocolate. I'll be honest with you. I think the chocolate is kind of where they fail a little bit. Maybe like a nice light uh, uh, milk chocolate. Maybe kind of a Hershey thing going on. It just kind of has just a kind of a syrupy chocolate taste to it. Uh, I think they could do better with the chocolate. Still very tasty. I still like it. Personally though, my pick is the new Pop-Tarts peanut butter variety available in supermarkets everywhere. What's your pick? Mm. I'm the same. Yeah, you go for the peanut butter as well? Yeah. There you go. Once again, this has been a review of peanut butter and s'mores Pop-Tarts. By the way, check out my next review, food review. It's going to be coming at you in a couple of days where we'll be trying the new pumpkin spice Via Variety Instant Latte. I love, I love pumpkin pie, so I'm From Starbucks. You gonna try it with me? Yeah, I'm gonna try it with you. All right, there you go. Once again, this has been another food review. Until next time, see you later. Take care. See you.